I have this um, <clears throat> these lecture series by um, Alan Watts put out by the um, the Electronic uh, University. It's on DVD. Older films of Mr. Watts giving lectures in front of a chalkboard. And one of the subjects he talks about is the idea of nothing. Um, if you could imagine where there, wherever there is a thing, in between that that discrete thing and the other thing, is a space, is an area, is a volume, but you can't have that nothing area, that that empty void, a volume, without there being definable thing, without an edge. Now we're used to thinking in terms of there being nothing there, but there's still air there. Unless you're out in space and there's a vacuum. And even the vacuum itself has um, a quantum field in it. So, but the quantum field, what is that? Um, it's non-discrete. It's, it's, it's more of a, um, an effect of, of, of a, upon where there is a thing because if you had just that by itself which according to some physicists that's where the universe came from there was only that in the very beginning and that was forever and ever and ever it was just this um, field of fluctuation of, of, of particles coming and go, coming and obliterating be, be, up, appearing and going away appearing and going away in a random um, pattern of inner, of fluctuations in 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 the, in the without there when there was no space. See, in the Big Bang, there space was created as well as there being energy. So there had to have been the moment when the three dimensional space formed, as well as the the, the intense um, light heat or light. Uh, where am I going with this? There is an idea that the idea of there not being anything there, the idea of there being a void of a vacuum, and so whatever you imagine the atom to be, there has to be space within the atom, around the atom. So there's a there's a particle, but the particle itself isn't really a definable. Um, entity it's more of a of a field that's never in one place at one at any one time it's always um a, a, it's always just a probability uh cloud is what it is well it's 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 hard to imagine because it's so far removed from our normal experiences of the world we we only can experience matter from from its um con in a conglomerated form. We can't we can't experience individual atoms. We have to we can only experience atoms in groups. So where am I going with this? Yeah, Mr. Watts had a lot to say about this. Yeah, he knew a lot, but he knew a lot because other people knew a lot that he learned from, and that the same way that no one can really take a lot of credit for what they know because most of what they know they've learned, and they're just connecting the dots from information that they've gained from one source to from another source, from another source, from another source. They're they're pulling and grasping at different areas or different different uh, ideas and merging them together and trying to come up with a new idea or a new synthesis and, and, and explain it a different way to be able to define it differently um, make it more understandable and maybe there is connecting maybe if you connect enough of the dots that have never been connected before maybe your personal experiences are unique enough to be able to make you be able to come up with a new way of, of, of discovery of that subject. 
Anyhow, signing off.